Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Sierra and I'm so glad that you could be joining me today. So I have been super, super stressed out, like unable to sleep, chest hurting type of stressed out. And when I feel like this, when I'm in a bad mental health space, the area that I live in reflects that. So you can kind of see in the corner over here, the mess piling up on my table. The entire house is just a disaster because when I'm in a bad mental health space, it's so difficult for me to get out of bed, force myself to clean. However, when I do clean, it also helps my mental health. So that's what we're doing today. The house, like I said, is a disaster. Case point A, case point B, and all of this. So, we have a big long list of things that need to get cleaned. So, we are gonna just go ahead and hop into it. I know watching these type of videos help inspire me to get off my butt and go clean and be productive. And if there's anything you're putting off, such as cleaning or something in your personal life, I really hope this inspires you to do that thing. Don't let it stress you out anymore. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the cleaning. So, this is the state of our sink. I would be lying if I didn't say it was a little embarrassing. So that's what we're going to start with. I'm going to go ahead and finish loading the dishwasher and get it going because it's already almost full and I just haven't been started yet. So I got the dishwasher fully loaded. I'm going to go ahead and start it and then the rest of the dishes will wait until those dishes are done with their cycle. So I think I'm going to move on to the living room. This is kind of gross but apparently it's totally normal we weren't sure at first but we looked it up but one of our babies one of our kittens has a thing where she loves playing with poop so she'll go digging through the litter box get the fresh the fresh poop that we haven't had time to scoop yet and pick it up in her mouth and go play with it like a little ball and she's doing it right now actually let me show you She saw the camera and decided not to, but there are quite a bit of poops around the house. So we're going to go on a little poop scavenger hunt and then we are going to vacuum and pick up because their kitty toys are all over the floor. So this is what we're working with. It's really not that bad. There's just some kitty toys over here and some, like I said, little poopies hiding around. We actually just got them this tunnel the other day at five below they love it like for five dollars you cannot beat that we also got the little kitty hut there too so i think we're going to begin with picking up the kitty toys and the little poopies so that way i can vacuum also real fast i don't know if you guys ever had that kitty piano like the little kid piano that made like cat noises i'll insert a picture here but one of the songs on it is how much is that kitty in the window and how much are those three kitties in the window? So I picked up all the kitty toys and Mango's little uh, special toys that she keeps around. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get out the vacuum and do some vacuuming. So I'm done with the vacuuming. I obviously put their toys back on the ground for them. I'm out of breath. I'm tired. I don't know what it is about vacuuming. It also just makes it so much hotter. But we're not done yet. The dishes are still going. I think I'm gonna head to the bathroom next and show you what needs done there. Welcome to my bathroom. The lighting is not the best in here. I am so sorry. But there's really not a lot that needs done in here. The big thing is in these cupboards. This whole section is an unorganized mess. Organizing it so it looks good. And then we're almost done besides the dishes and the filming room. So we are back in this room. 
We finished cleaning up the living room, vacuuming, and the bathroom. The things we have left to do are cleaning up this room. I'm gonna show you in a second. It is quite the mess. And then just finishing up the dishes and we're done. That's crazy. I feel so accomplished. I know I'm gonna feel even more accomplished when the dishes are done. Cause something about doing the dishes just makes me feel like <sighs> something about a clean sink, man. But yeah, I just wanted to take a second and sit down and just talk about kind of the reason I've been so stressed. So I uploaded a video a little bit ago and it was a job interview vlog. So it was me taking you guys along with me to a job interview. I will post a link down below. And I realized that I never updated that video. I never let you guys know like the outcome of that job interview. So like I said in the video, the job interview went really, really, really well. Like I impressed myself. I was so nervous. Interviews always freak me out and I did it. I went in there and I was, you know, charismatic and I was talkative and I wasn't just sitting there fidgeting with my fingers the whole time. And that made me very proud of myself. However, the person I was interviewing with was the assistant manager and not the general manager. So it's the general manager who would have the power to hire me. And she wasn't the one conducting the interview. It was her day off. So, they told me to wait a week and if they don't call me, then go in. And I also said in that video that I had another interview lined up. I had somebody call me that morning, which was a job I would rather have with better hours and better pay that is just so much better than working in fast food, let me tell you. So I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. I didn't call them back when I got home that day. I waited until the next Monday and I called this other job and they didn't pick up. And I waited until the next day, called them again, didn't pick up, called them Friday, didn't pick up. So I was like, man, what am I gonna do? And then the other job, the one that I interviewed for, also never called me back. And I have not gone in there yet to check on my application because I was like, why isn't this other job calling me back? They said they wanted to set up an interview. So I called them back today, one last time, one last hopeless attempt at getting them to pick up the phone. And when I tell you, my heart shattered when they didn't. I was like, okay, well, I'll give them an hour. I'll call them back. I did, they didn't pick up. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get myself out of bed. I'm gonna see if I can stop stressing. I'm going to go get myself ready, do my makeup and my hair and record this video, you know? Because recording videos hold me accountable. They keep me cleaning because you know, it's the video for the week. So I was getting ready. I was doing my makeup and they called me back and they set up an interview with me for tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. So it just kind of switched my stress over from them not answering my phone calls to having an interview literally tomorrow morning. And we all know from that video what job interviews do to me. They turn me into a giant ball of anxiety. I just really hope I get this job. It's stress about the job interview itself and stress about getting the job and things changing once I have the job and it's stress of if I don't get the job and things changing because I didn't get the job. I'm just not the best with change, like at all. Good change, bad change, doesn't matter. And that's something I really need to work on in myself. Change is good, change is literally necessary for personal growth. And yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I'm hopeful, manifesting a good outcome. I am excited to talk to Zach about it. He always makes me feel better. Cleaning also makes me feel better. So we should probably get back to that. Let me show you what we're working with, with this bedroom. So I realized that I've never actually shown you guys this full room that I film in, which is insane, because this is by far my favorite part of the house. But however, it does need a lot of work because I'm constantly filming in here, painting in here, doing art stuff. It gets messy really, really quick. And it's one of those spaces that if you're not on it with your cleaning, it just gets unmanageable. This being the space that I create everything I create in, it's probably the most like crucial place to keep clean for me. So that way I can work with like a clear mindset. So I'm gonna show you guys this room. I really like it. And I think you guys are gonna like it more when it's clean. So starting off, this is my little desk. I've got some canvases over here that I've been working on some paints that have been sitting out since the Bob Ross video. And over here, I have a coffee mug that's been in here for way too long. 
I have some like photo booth pictures me and Zach took that I was going to do something with. Haven't done it yet. And then this area is actually pretty clean. So going from the top bottom, I have some fake plants up there. I have this cute little gummy bear lamp. Look how cute that is. Zach and I actually won that at an arcade. It's over here that is the absolute mess. And then over here, we have a little table. It normally goes right in front of this couch, but we moved it when me and Zach were filming. And then we have this cute little bookcase, which is really just extra storage. So yeah, it feels so good to have a clean house. Obviously, if the dishes aren't done yet, I am going to finish those when the dishwasher's done. But it might take a while, so I figured I would go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. It feels so much better having a clean house. I cannot stress that enough, especially this room. Like, a clean area really does provoke, like, creative expression in the most genuine form. And it just makes you feel so much better. Thank you guys for coming along with me. Wish me luck uh, down in the comments below for my interview. Fingers crossed it goes well. When this video is uploaded, it'll already have passed, which is crazy to think about. I wish I could just skip forward to that time. But yeah, I had so much fun filming. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It would literally mean the absolute world to me if you liked and subscribed. I post twice a week on Wednesdays and Saturdays and you guys don't want to miss it. There's so much cool stuff coming. I have quite the little surprise announcement coming and I'm very excited. And I've also already started planning my videos going into the new year, which is crazy to say, but I can't believe it's already almost 2024. What is time? What has been this year? I don't even know, but there's a lot of really, really cool stuff coming. So yeah, it would mean the world to me. Like and subscribe. You can follow me on my socials. I'll pop up right over here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.